We're in Hua Chang Bay in the middle of Shenzhen. Used to be the biggest electronics market in the world. Now it's more just like a retail space. Anyway, to that end, I want to show you guys today the new Oppo store that they have here. This store is special because in there, I don't think they actually sell anything. It's right in the middle of Hua Chang Bay in like A1 position. It's a big experience store. I don't think you can actually buy anything in there, any mobile phones, but they have loads of different electronics, loads of cool little stuff in there. We are gonna go and experience today. I wanna to take you in there and see what they have for us. There's a lot of Oppo things, of course, and there are some other branded electronics, including Sony. Don't know if they've linked up or if there's a special connection there, but let's just go inside and see what they got. But those really busy because it is New Year. So everyone's out in Shenzhen looking around. Let's see what we've got. Obviously, there's loads of phones that they're gonna have in here. Oppo phones. This is the R17 Pro. You can see it just has the, the little cutout for the camera here. Better than the iPhone. Well, it's smaller than the iPhone, that's for sure. It's a tiny little V cutout. It actually looks really nice. Can you actually get into the phone in any way? They're just like view units. I don't even think they have an operating system on them. They can't really do much except for just show you what they are. That's 4,000 RMB. That's more expensive than a lot of the Huawei ones. R17 Pro, eight gigabytes of RAM plus 128 gigabytes of storage. All these phones from China, the screens are so awesome. Like they're just bright, literally no bezels. You've got a little bottom bezel here, but then the top, tiny little V, little notch there, tiny little notch with the earphone on the top here. Back cameras, nice little layout. Three cameras, it looks like, on the back. Nice red color, really nice red color. As you can see, it's not really a shop where you buy things, which is like an experience. Like, why do they have a Ferrari next to the Find X? There's not really much explanation for it. Let's see if we can see over here, like, is it earphones and things? This is the Find X, the Oppo Find X, which I think is their latest phone. And maybe you have to listen to some music on here. See if I can link it up. It's shown me like Fook charging, which is like their, their really quick me charging method that, quick, that charges quicker than any other phone, apparently. Okay, Wiki Beats Solo. Yeah, these are Beats. There's a little sound I can hear, it's already connected. Maybe I, want, I can play some music. See what it sounds like. Have to actually look through the Chinese menu, because obviously it's in Chinese. Uh, let's see if I can play some QQ music. QQ is free, so let's play some Gem. Can I play some Gem? It's playing. I mean, there's nothing new about playing music through Bluetooth onto Beats headphones, but I guess it's just part of the experience store that they have in here. What's really good about the Oppo Find X is this, like, the non-notch at the top. There's absolutely no notch on the phone at the top. They put all the camera gear and everything in this bit, so if you open the camera, <clears throat> it just pops up, and if you close it, it goes down. <laughs> if you, it pops up, if you close it, it goes down. It takes like half a second. To be honest, it's, it's frustratingly slow. I wish it happened quicker, I wish it was like boom, but it's, it just takes like a little while. You know, I, I think if you had the phone and you wanted to get it out quickly, it's, it's just, <laughs> it's, it's cool, but a little slow. Also, there's obviously room for this to become stuck with like lint, pocket lint and things like that. But it's a good example of how Chinese smartphone manufacturers 
are trying to get rid of the notch because we don't want a notch. None of us want a notch. This is the best way that they have at the moment. It's to put it in a, a top screen. All right, let's see what else they got in here. This is all the audio area. This screen, is it? I'm not sure if it's like a touch screen or whether you're just supposed to watch it if it's just the TV. It doesn't look like a touch screen because it's not, it's not moving at all. It's definitely not a touch screen. It is a touch screen because you can see when I press it, it like, you can see my, my fingerprint, but I can't move anything on the screen. Over here they've got some really, really old camera equipment. Really old. This might be one of the first ever Canons. A1. Is that the first ever Canon DSLR? You can actually touch it. Is it a replica or is it like a real, a real old school lens? 35 to 70. This Canon looks super, super old and it would be cool if it was real. You've got a Minolta camera here as well, which is also super, super old. It's really cool to see them putting some different stuff in this shop really old school camera equipment maybe to show like how how camera equipment's come on so you have like old school camera equipment here dslr real old school lens and then it moves over to like the phone equipment move over to the phone equipment which is like one of the first motorola <laughs> phones absolutely huge got buttons on it this type of real old school phone which if you're of a certain age you do remember and if you're too young you won't remember an alarm clock so like they're trying to show all of this stuff. You have the DSLR, you have the old school camera, you've got the old school phone, wired phone. And then you have the Oppo phone, which has absolutely everything in just that device. They've also taken one apart. So you can see the camera equipment, like the camera body, the hardware of, of the Oppo cameras. Obviously moved from that first Canon DSLR, absolutely huge, and now the whole camera equipment is literally just in that tiny little body there, which they put it in the phone. If you're as old as me, you remember the PlayStation. They got PlayStation games in here. Unfortunately, it's not linked up to a TV. It's just for show. But I'd like to play this. If they had it, I'd come in here and play it. They have a drone here. Can you control the drone from the phone is that what we're doing unfortunately it's got a lock on the screen so maybe this is just someone's phone I'm not sure because it's a it's a Xiaomi phone we're in an Oppo sh shop I heard someone earlier flying one of these so maybe maybe we can get someone to to fly it for us selfie mode makes they all the Chinese phones have really strong selfie modes that like beautify you for a hundred pounds a thousand RMB you get three gigabytes of RAM 32 gigs of memory you get two cameras how is that for a hundred pounds thousand RMB you get two cameras the operating systems really snappy to be honest I had an Oppo before and the operating system is really snappy it, it flicks through screens way quicker than an Apple iPhone I think for a thousand RMB what they can put in these phones is incredible. So you have the cheaper phones over here, over there you have the more expensive ones and the last bit over here. I think this is the A7X 1900 RMB, four gigs of RAM, 128 gigabytes of storage. But just have a look at the color on the back of that phone. It's really dark at the bottom. It goes into like stars and glitter at the top really really nice color on the back is it gonna sway you to buy the phone i think the software and the way it performs has to be the number one factor but i guess at this price point a 18 1900 rmb maybe how it looks is going to sway you a little bit more even at this price point 1900 rmb the notch is so much smaller than anything you get from apple it's just a little v i think the design is so much better and Apple has to go this way. It's just the way forward. It's a much better design on the front. The, ear, the earpiece is just right at the top. Doesn't get in the way of the screen at all. R15X, another R15X. This is 2600 RMB. Six gigabytes of RAM, 128 gigs of storage. 
all of the phones, no matter where they're priced at, all have a very similar design. You got full screen, you got the little V at the top with the camera, and then sort of really cool backs. This one is like green, goes light to dark. It's really nice color, to be honest, the way that they do it. No matter what the price point, those really expensive ones or this cheap one, they're all looking pretty much the same. So obviously the difference is what's inside. So you can't actually buy anything here really, except for maybe some accessories. So you've got their VOOC charger, which is very, very quick charging. They say pretty much one of the quickest on the market. You can see some dongles. You can always buy dongles, power adapter, headphones and things. These headphones actually are from Sony. I guess Oppo doesn't make headphones, so they have to get some other people's in here just for the experience. The new Lamborghini version, of the latest Oppo. Haven't seen that in person yet. They don't have one in here either. You can see it's like an experience store because they're selling some JBL pulses. How much do they go for? 1888 here in this store. You've got some smart speakers as well, Tianmao Jingling, which is the Tmall smart speaker. So you can see they're just going for, I don't know, just like electronics and progress sort of experience store. Obviously finishing off with the warranty forgotten how to say it in English. Drone, there you go, drone. So the DJI one must have flown off because he's not here. So there it is, the Oppo Experience Store. I think you can buy the phones in here. All the phones have a price on there and there is like way in the back, there is a sales desk, I think, where you can go and, and buy the Oppo phones. I don't think you can buy the PlayStation or the really old Mark I Canon DSLR, but it's an interesting experience. It's cool to see some history of electronics from that crazy big DSLR, huge earphones to tiny Oppo smartphones that do everything. Cool experience, nice to have a shopping experience that is a little bit different to the sort of cookie cutter phone shop that you usually get.